This is a wiring guide for the Cartel slash Estate Swing Deluxe exit wand wired to the LiftMaster LA400 or LiftMaster LA412. First, we're going to take the blue wire. This is going to go in the open terminal. Next, we're going to take the black wire and that is going to go into COM. Now one thing to note, on the LA-412, instead of saying COM here, it'll say CTRL PWR, control power, but it's still the same as the LA-400 in terms of wiring. If you had other wires in here, you can always double up on these terminals. You can put as many into these terminals, including the terminal that has the jumper in it. The green wire is not going to get used. The red wire is going to go on accessory power. Now one thing to note is this accessory power on this side of the board puts out power all the time, no matter what the voltage of the battery is currently. This accessory power only puts out power when the battery voltage is above a certain level it cuts out to conserve power to operate the gate opener. So most of the time you want to put it over here to make sure that your gate is going to open and close via the exit sensor even as the battery starts to get low. You'll notice there's a jumper. If you're not using the alarm you can take that jumper out. Otherwise you can double up. The bare wire goes in with the jumper. The red wire is going to go into the positive. The bare wire will go into the negative. When you power up this board, you want to have the exit wand already buried. During the first five minutes is a calibration period. You don't want to move any metal near the exit wand during that calibration period. It's going to acclimate itself to its surroundings. The Cartel exit wand slash ES Deluxe exit wand also comes with a grounding strap. This is at the wand itself. You can drive a grounding rod into the ground and attach the grounding strap to that grounding rod. This will give an added layer of protection from interference.